Hello, everybody. My name is Jing Wan. In this lecture, I will briefly show you how we use principal component analysis in I seq data analysis. The main goal of PCA is to examine the relationship among all samples in your study. And we know and one sample in terms of gene expression includes over 10,000 genes, even we remove the low expressed gene. But still, we may get some, most time we may get 12,000 genes. So for the all samples, multiple samples, we may have a large matrix data set, like 12,000 genes times multiple samples. The PCA is a mathematic method to reduce the dimension of data set. We cannot compare each data set in over 10,000 genes. Now we use PCA to get the main several principal components to see how similar or how different between samples. Now, when we do PCA, we need we we have to keep or retain most of variations. By that way, we may identify major principal components in each direction, around which the variation in the data is a maximal. There is another tool which is called multidimensional scaling (MDS) plot. Also, can be used to visualize the level of similarity of individual cases in the data set, uh, which MDS. MDS product is somehow very similar to PCA product. So in this lecture, we only show you PCA product. Here is one example of PCA product. We have uh, four samples under two different conditions, red and uh, green. And after PCA, we got the two, we got the several major principal components. The first two are PC1 and the PC2 showing here. And from this figure, you can see in general, group A are, is different from group B. However, three samples in group A, A1, A3, A4, are close to each other, which makes sense. Except the, the other sample, A2, A2, looks far away from both group A and B. It reminds us an outlier, probably, but we are not sure until we have, until we go back to check the quality of A2 in terms of mapping rays, um, mapping results to the gene body, or even more earlier, like the uh, sample preparation, RNA extraction, and the library construction. After we get the evidence or we have any doubt about that one, we may remove A2 for the further analysis. Here is another example. We use the PCA on eight samples. There are two conditions, A and B, in different colors. In general, we cannot see significant difference between group A and B. However, we found those eight samples form four pairs, like A1, B1, A2, B2, A3, B3, A4, B4. Even though the variation among the same group are much larger than the difference between two groups, we still can see the same trend of the difference between individual samples, like A1, B1, A2, B2, A3, B3, A4, B4. This reminds us or give us a hint, we may have a doubt whether these samples are paired. For example, A1, B1 from the same pool of animals, A2, B2 from the, another one. Or maybe there are existing batch factors when you prepare the samples or do experiment. For example, you may do, you may did A1B1 in the in one day, but A2B2 in another day, 
and does A3, B3, A4, B4. In this case, if we use a traditional comparison between two groups, we may get nothing or very little differential expressed genes. However, if we can confirm this experiment design is a paired design, or there are there batch factors in the sample preparation, and then we use the different statistical model, we may get a much more significant differential expressed genes.